Hey everyone, this is Jenny from Homestead Corner and today we are whipping up some homemade apple pie filling for the pantry. We're going to can it up and let's get to it. Okay, so this is really quite simple. The hardest part is peeling and coring. It really is a uh, pain in the bottom. But if you have a peeler and core, that works out really nicely. One of these days, I'll get one of them babies. I bought one this year, but it was junk and it just, it ex the first apple I did on it exploded, so I sent it back. I was not impressed. <laughs> Little apple literally exploded. Um, it didn't. <laughs> didn't work quite right so um, I'm just gonna get these all cut up and I'm putting them in a in some nice cold water with a little bit of lemon juice just to keep them so they don't turn dark because this does take some time especially if you're doing it by hand and um, slicing them pretty thin uh, thin slices the size you want for apple pie or turnovers or whatever we use this for um, apple crisp apple turnovers, apple pie, uh, pretty much anything. If you want to make an apple dump cake, anything you use apple pie filling for. So we're just going to get these done. Okay, so once you've got your apples all cut and peeled, I still got mine soaking in the liquid with water and lemon juice just to keep them so they're not completely brown. They're going to turn pretty brown anyway. But um, I like to put them in that. That's just the way I learned how to do it. And so I'm going to start with four quarts of water here. Because I've got about half a bushel. I'm not sure this is going to be enough of the liquid. But this is what I'm going to start with. So I've got four quarts of water here. And to that, I'm going to add four cups of sugar. And... Three and four. Okay, you can reduce the sugar if you like. This is just the mixture that I really, I like this mixture. And um, so we've got our four cups of sugar in here. And then we're going to start adding our spices. So we're going to do two tablespoons of cinnamon. We like it nice and cinnamony. A little extra there. Ooh, that's a lot of cinnamon we don't want to put too much in. But, um, and then one teaspoon of nutmeg. And this is a half teaspoon measure because that's what was handy. And then a half a teaspoon of ground cloves. And we're going to do a half a teaspoon of oh, allspice. Do not want to overdo it on that stuff. Super strong. All right. And we are going to add three cups of clear gel to this. So it's got a nice gel consistency. And it will be ready to go right into your pies. Clear gel is optional. You can do it with just the thin liquid like this with the syrup. Um, but if you uh, if you you have to thicken it when you go when you open the jar and get ready to use it. So, but if you use a clear gel, it's just ready to go right into your pie shells or whatever you're using. So, 
Um, so we're going to put the clear gel in. I'm going to put three cups in because this is four quarts and this is a lot. It's a big, big batch. Three cups, and we're going to put this on the stove and bring it up to a boil. And once it's boiling, we're just going to turn it down okay, and so keep it warm. All heated up, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start loading my apples into these hot jars. So I want everything to be hot. I did not heat up my apples, but everything else is hot. So we're just going to fill okay, these let's up. Let's try with this apples. again. My camera cut off. So um, all right, so we are going to just. We're going to start packing our jars, just like we were doing. And we're going to get, we're going to go about halfway with these apples. We're going to shake those down. And then I'm going to start adding my liquid because I like it really thick. And that this recipe is pretty thick. So, we're going to start adding our liquid now so it can have the time to get down into the bottom of the jar. And it's just going to seep in all those holes. Just kind of cover it a little bit and then we're going to finish filling it with the apples. So, it's already down there halfway. And we'll just move them around, make sure they can get, all that liquid can get down in the bottom. Okay, and then we're going to finish filling this little dollin with apples. Oops, we got choppers here. Okay, and we're going to shake these again. Make sure we have plenty in there. You want to give yourself that one inch headspace at this rim. So you want to make sure that is all set and we're going to finish filling with our liquid because this is nice and thick it takes a little while for it to seep down into the jar and get through everything so you've already got your bottom kind of debubbled so I already started that so you don't have to get too crazy this way you can keep it nice and full. And we're just going to cap that off. Make sure everything is debubbled. And I'm going to put a splash of lemon juice in the top. Just a splash. It doesn't change the flavor, but it helps raise the acidic value so everything is. So now we're going to just clean off our rims. You always, I use vinegar for this. You always, because you can see there's like little apple stuff there. Um, if you don't have a clean rim, you definitely can get a bad seal. So I like to make sure my rims are super, super clean. So I use vinegar for that, and then we're gonna put a hot lid on there. And get that baby picked up. And we're gonna add our ring. And we're gonna put the, these in the canner. Once the canner is filled up, we're gonna can these for 25 minutes in a boiling hot water bath. So you wanna get it to a good rolling boil before you start the timer. And uh, we're going to keep going and get this okay, so baby once going. Your canner, um, once you're done with your time on your canner, you're going to want to let these sit in the pot for about five minutes so they can cool down a little bit. Because if you take them out too fast, they're going to siphon and you're going to have pools of apple pie filling all over the place. So I just let them stay right in here in the pot for about five or 10 minutes and then I take them out and move them to the counter. I just really let them 
come okay, down so we a little ended bit up with 12 pounds. quarts of apple pie filling and I've got a few jars of applesauce back here that I did earlier so we've got that and but we got 12 quarts of the apple pie filling and it just looks so delicious look how yummy and beautiful that is for the shelf yummy all right if you like this video give us a thumbs up subscribe we'll see you in the next video bye